Holy Spirit. Come touch your people. Come Holy Spirit. Come set your people free. Come Holy Spirit. Come touch your people. Come Holy Spirit. Come set your people free. Say you are. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Oh, Lord. Come back here. You said, Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Come back here, my Lord. Come back here. Oh, Lord. your people come holy spirit come set your people free come holy spirit come set your people come holy spirit come set your people say your Worship him like that. Come on, if you're waiting on him, begin to worship him. How many of you know he's a good, good father? Come on, begin to worship him like that. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you know he's perfect in all his ways? And I'm loved by you. 
up and say it. No.
I wish I had a voice to sing it like I want to. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but he did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but he did it. Made a way. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. Don't know why, but I'm Don't know. Don't know why. Cause he blessed me Cause he killed me Cause he shined Shit, I don't know why Why he died for me Why he killed my body Lord, Shit, I don't know why Only because you made, yeah. And I'm standing here only because you made. Standing here only because you made a way. Now, come on, if you know He made a way, put your hands together and bless Him. Come on, you can do better than that if you know He made a way. Open your mouth and give Him glory right there. Come on, begin to shout unto him with the voice of triumph. Come on, is there anybody that come to bless him on tonight? Come on, begin to let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. How many grateful folks do we have tonight? Come on, if you're grateful, let's you put your hands together. Hallelujah. Come on, let's thank God. Hallelujah! We're grateful tonight. Hallelujah. We're grateful tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we're to our welcome tonight. Amen. Sister Tamikia Brown's going to come and welcome us. Amen. Let's receive her. Amen. Let's put our hands together and give God praise just one more time. Amen. So we just want to say welcome to Judah Worship Center on behalf of our pastor, Superintendent Demetrius Beecham, our beautiful and lovely first lady, Miss Vicki L. Beecham. <laughs> the Judah Worship Center family and the Hope Center family, we thank you for coming out to fellowship and worship with us at the Hope District Fellowship. Amen. We're delighted that you have chosen to join us in fellowship and worship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They're telling me to go this way. Okay, all right. My bad. Psalms 34 and 3 states, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So tonight we invite you to put your hands together, stomp your feet, do your dance, and worship the Lord with us together. Amen. Amen. Can we get a guest response? Amen. Do we have a guest response today? Amen. Oh, yes. Man, be glad, in it? I thank God for the um, invitation on behalf of Pastor Brown and our lovely First Lady Brown and SOD church family we are so grateful to be able to fellowship with you all on this night we're looking for a hot time in god and the and the worship and the fellowship with you all thank god for being here amen god bless you at this time let's receive our district choir amen at this time our district choir praise god let's give them a hand as they come amen how many put it all in his hands hallelujah
Amen. Come on, put your hands together again for the district choir. Come on, put your hands together again for the choir.
on. Let's put our hands together. If you put it all in his hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. At this time, we're to our ministry of giving. Amen. Elder Calvin Beecham is going to lead us in the ministry of giving. Amen. Let's receive him at this time. It's time to give. Amen. Let's get excited. Let's give the Lord a praise. It's time to give. Praise God. Amen. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you again. We give God the praise on the day. We magnify him and we glorify him because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. We give the honor to uh, the honorees, uh, the superintendent, our honor guest. Amen. We thank God for everyone. The district missionary. Amen. Thank God for her. Amen. Also, the first lady of the district, Sister Vicki. The first lady of the district. Amen. Oh, your husband getting excited over there. <laughs> all right. All right. But also, not last, but also not least, my beautiful wife, Sister Coletta Beecham. Amen. We thank God for everyone being in here on today. Amen. I, I'm glad uh, y'all ain't got nobody on this side. I guess I can't say nothing on this side over here. All right. Oh, you over there? All right, then. All right, then. All right. <laughs> Preacher said he'd build it by himself and make a whole lot of noise. All right. Are, are we here to uh, raise a great offering on today, on tonight? Amen. Amen. I uh, had to pray for my pastor, Pastor L. J. W. Beecham, the one who's a part of this district. Amen. He wasn't able to be here. Amen. He's 94. Amen. He had the reason not to be here. Amen. But he had a reason not to be here, but he, but he wanted to be here. Uh, the first lady also wanted to be here. She sent an offering. Amen. That's one thing they got to do. Amen. He sent his offering also. Amen. We're going to be a blessing to the district on today. Amen. I like to start high because uh, if I start high, I, I don't have to come down to, for a second appeal. And since I don't like coming for a second appeal, I need y'all to get as close to me as y'all possibly can. Y'all just got through singing the song, I, We Can Handle It or I Can Handle It. He can handle it. That's a fact. Okay. That's right. He can handle it. But I need y'all to handle it today yourself because I'm looking for some money with a high digit number on it. <laughs> amen. Amen. We're going to get rid of it. Amen. To quote our scripture. Y'all do, do say the same thing we say, don't you? No, sir. No. Okay. All right, then. We'll, 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 we'll leave that alone. But if I got the, where the ushers at right now? All righty. All right. We're going get, to get this offering ready. If, uh, since I said I'm going to start off with a high number, amen. I hope, I hope all the leaders, they can come close behind me. Amen. I'm going to start my offering off with $80. Pastor Beecham going to start his off with a 100 Pastor Elder J.W. Beecham starting his out with 100 I'm behind him with $80. Superintendent said he's going to start off with $100. Amen. Yes. Who else will come uh, right behind me? Come on ahead. Amen. We're leaving the hands of the ushers. Amen. For he is good. Yes, he, for he is worthy. Worthy. And the one who got credit cards. The, the yes, credit card is right behind us. The at the, Lord is at the stand where the sound system is at. Yes, and the cash app is ready for you. Clap those hands. All right. It's on the screen in the back. Foggy is good. Yes, he is good. Clap those hands unto the Thank you. Yes, he is. The Lord is worthy. Oh, worthy. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Sing a song unto the Lord. Yeah. For he is good. He is. Yes, he is good. Sing 
Bless the one who gave. Bless them all in four four. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank the Lord. Amen. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your liberal giving. Amen. At this time, if you would rest to your feet. Amen. At this time. We're presenting to some and introducing to others. The best superintendent in the Texas Southwest jurisdiction. I can't hear nobody. Come on, somebody. Our superintendent of the Hope District. Hallelujah. Pastor of the Judah Worship Center. Amen. Ministry of Hope, Church of God in Christ. Amen. The superintendent of Demetrius Beach. Amen. Come on, let's give him a praise. Amen. Man, I'm gonna go find that man. My God, he's talking real good about him. You may be seated, amen. We thank God. I really enjoyed the praise team. Give the praise team a hand, praise, amen. And our uh, choir done such a superb job, amen, on tonight. Can you give our choir a hand, praise, amen? Thank you, Elder Calvin Beecham, raising the offering tonight. And to all the elders and ministers, and to Amen. The mother of our church, Mother Jackson, say amen for her. Hallelujah. Amen. To our district missionary, amen. Missionary Whitfield, come on, give her a hand, please. Brother Dean, if you can turn me down out there and turn me up here just a bit on the monitors. All right. Amen. And to our invited guests, our invited guests tonight. No other than Pastor Brown from Austin, Texas. Come on, Judah Worship Center. Come on, Judah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay. Yes. I'm so excited, amen, that Pastor Brown has accepted our invitation to come to our district setting come on y'all that's on a tuesday night amen on a tuesday night amen to come out it's such an honor amen to and uh, to have him and his church family look at all these ones from austin mine and god amen to come out and celebrate and thank god for amen members from Mahal coming Mahal coming and marlin coming out tonight Come on, say amen for that. Last but surely not least, my lovely and beautiful wife, Sister Vicki L. Y'all ain't saying that, amen. Vicki L. Beecham. Amen. It's a blessing. Amen. Every morning I wake up, I just believe that I'm somewhere close in heaven. Amen. When I look at my wife. Amen. Somewhere close. Amen. Until I turn to the left side and I see outside of Marlin, I said, Lord, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. Amen. But we have been enjoying ourselves. Amen. Started on last Sunday night. Amen. The Lord blessed us. And we was in Mahaya on last Tuesday night. Amen. Um, uh, with Pastor Dixon, the Lord blessed us there. And then Sunday night, we was with. Uh, Bishop Gregory Jones, I mean, the Lord blessed us on Sunday night, and we are back again on tonight, and we're looking forward to another blessing. Amen, somebody? And I want to thank God for the faithful members of this church, amen, for coming back out, amen, on Tuesday night. Amen. 
I know that you'll be back on Wednesday night, amen, to help us close this out, amen. But we're not going to, amen, take too long, amen, because we know that this man of God has a word for us. And I truly believe that God is going to speak through him tonight. I got one witness. God's going to speak through him tonight to help us out, amen, in this service. Thank you, Minister Marcus, amen, for, amen, gathering this program together. Amen. But before I speak, come, I'm going to ask Mother Jackson to sing us a solo. Then right after the solo, right after the solo, I want everybody to stand and show respect to this man of God. Amen. And I want him, if maybe we want to bring his choir, whatever you want to do. Amen. But after Mother Jackson will come and render us. Listen, I, Mother been working hard this district meeting. She been working hard this district meeting. Amen. And I'm going to put on Sunday morning again. Amen. It was <laughs> but after Mother Jackson sings a solo, I want everybody to stand and receive my friend, Pastor Brown from Austin, Texas. All right. Clap your hands in advance. Come on. Come on, brother. Give her another microphone. Thank you, Brother Jackson. and brothers in Christ Jesus, I'm going to do something real, real quick, real, real old. I think everybody can know. In the name of Jesus. All of my appointed times I'm going to wait till my change come. All of my appointed times I'm going to wait till my change come. Oh, all of my appointed times change come you know that the Lord God gives it you know that the Lord God takes it let's be the of the Lord oh I said all of my point in time I'm gonna wait till my change Of 
Lord. Amen. You definitely have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Mother, I haven't heard that song in years. My auntie, district missionary Freddie Mae Irvin, used to sing that song every single time she would come to church. And that's been, oh my God, over 20 years since I've heard that song, blessed and because ain't too many people gonna say blessed be the name of the Lord when he's taken. All right, you can say blessed be the name of the Lord when he's given. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much. Listen, the choir's coming real quick, real quick choir come. They're moving very quick. Bless the name of the Lord. While the choir's coming, amen, I want to honor the superintendent of this district. Hey, come on, Superintendent Beecham, let's honor him on tonight. He is my friend and my brother. Come on, I mean, give him honor. Come on, let's honor him on tonight. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah, his lovely wife, amen. Bless the name of the living God, the first lady of the district. Bless the name. I'm not going to talk too much about it, man. I saw that clip of uh, presiding Bishop Sheard. Someone was honoring First Lady Sheard too much, and he grabbed the mic and said, hey, you didn't honor her too much. Quit talking about it my way. So we praise God for First Lady, amen. Amen. Thank God for, amen, District Missionary Whitfield, amen, on tonight. Mother Jackson, amen, on tonight. Amen. All of the ministers and elders, amen. Bless the name. I want to thank God for my lovely wife. Woo. Pastor Beecham, can I borrow? Can I borrow one of yours? Woo! Thank God for her on tonight. And the Sanctuary Deliverance Church, thank you so much. They're going to come real quick. Amen. With the selection. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and help me live Jesus today. Hallelujah. Come on, choir. How to reach. Men of every. If I be lifted, I'll draw. I'll draw. All men, draw, how to reach, men of every body, for an extra day, if I be lifted up, I'll draw, I'll draw, all men, Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. Help me live. Help me live, Jesus. Help me live, Jesus. I'll drop all men. Drop.
them hands that give him praise If you know he desires the highest praise Come on, somebody say hallelujah 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 Come on, choir, hallelujah Clap them hands and give the Lord praise in this place. Hallelujah. Precious God, in the name of Jesus, God, we give you glory, praise, and we give you honor on tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for this gathering on tonight, God. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, I pray, God, that I die on tonight, that you may live, God. Preach through me, God, in the name of Jesus. Send an anointing, God, that makes preaching easy on tonight God in the name of Jesus God God once again God I declare God I declare Lord if you're not going to anoint me God I would rather you kill me in the name of Jesus for God I need you on tonight God send a word that will bless this your people on tonight God and we shall give you all the glory and all the praise in Jesus name we pray amen come on everyone clap your hands and let's give God the praise I love you forever with all my heart. I love you. On his eyes, put his hands upon him. He asked him if he saw aught. He looked up and said, I see men as trees and they walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. Man, thank God for the reading of the word. As you're taking your seat on tonight, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, the process of your deliverance. Look at somebody else and say, the process of your deliverance. Find somebody way across the room and say, hey, you, way over there. The process of your deliverance. And somebody clap your hands and give God a great big praise on tonight. That's the name of living God. Uh, there is a uh, account of a young man. Uh, the Lord had blessed this young man uh, to acquire some money and soon as a young man acquired this amount of money he went he said what I'm going to do is that I I haven't been as faithful as I should have been in paying uh, my child support so he went down to uh, the office amen to uh, uh, pay his uh, child support uh, bless the name of the living God went to where he was supposed to go or rather he went bless the name of the living God he had some delinquent tickets to play his tickets amen this man was in trouble he had child support and tickets amen bless the name of the living God but he went to pay his delinquencies some warrants that he had bless the name of the living God went down there went to the administrative office made it there just before they were closing to his surprise, when he got there to pay the delinquency of his warrants, uh, they said, uh, we, we need to send you down to another administrative office. He went down to the administrative office and paid his warrants. Uh, but to his surprise, they detained him anyway. Uh, you can imagine the frustration that he had because he was there to settle his account. He was there to get things straight, there uh, uh, to get himself 
align uh, in order to where he was supposed to be. Uh, the young man tells the account that he was happy on one end and he was frustrated on the other end. He was happy that God made a way for him to settle his account. But on the other end, he was still frustrated because after paying the price, he still had to go through a process. And sometimes in life, my brothers and sisters, after we have paid the price, after we have done all that we know how to do, God still requires us to go through a process. I want to encourage you on tonight to let you know that the price being paid does not exempt you from the processes that God will take you through in life. Sometime in God's way of delivering us, he will subject us to a process, going through some things, having to go uh, through some steps and through some stages to get us, amen, to where he wants us to be. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, the 37th chapter, the steps of a good man ordered by the Lord and when you really look at that scripture and you get an understand that word steps from the Hebrew into the Greek it means to march but when you look at march marching denotes unity anybody in here ever been in a marching band Amen. I was in the marching band, played that tuba. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. A little shake and a little dip. I can't get no witness in here. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. You know about it. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. But we had to be in step with one another. Amen. Most of the practices that we had in marching was making sure that we were unified. I can't get no witness in here. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. How many of y'all ever seen drum line? What's wrong with your chest? Your chest don't work. Amen. You had to high step. Amen. Everybody had to high step a certain height. You couldn't be out there being lazy. You couldn't half step. You had to high step. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. So marching, he said, the steps, amen, hallelujah, of a good man, steps, marching in unity. In unity with what? It means that you are becoming aligned with the will of God. You are in unity with what God wants you to do, where God wants you to go, how God wants you to go. But listen, my brothers and sisters, it doesn't mean that you are unified and in alignment with God. It means that you are stepping with purpose. You are stepping with intention. You are not just wandering. You are not just walking. You are not just aimlessly going around. But because you have aligned yourself with the will of God. Listen, that's really what faith is. People try and make faith mystical. But faith is not mystical. I know we have the biblical definition of what faith now. Faith is the substance things hope for. The evidence of things not seen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the practice application of faith is when you align your will to God's will bless the name of the living God when you no longer have an agenda his agenda become yours so the steps of a good man hallelujah the march the unity the purpose of where you're going with attentions are ordered by the Lord that word ordered means it is strategic Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has a way of doing what it is he wants to do. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now when I read that, amen, I asked God a question. I said, God, you said in the scripture you know the thoughts that you think towards us. What is the difference between your thoughts and your thinking? He said, I know the thoughts that I'm thinking. Bless the name of the living God. So there has to be some distinctions between the thoughts and the thinking. The thoughts, amen, is the final designation where God knows he's going to be, where you know you're going to end up, where God knows how it's going to turn out. You know, you know, you may not see it, but you know, God said, I know that I know how this is going to end. I know this is going to, how it's going to turn out. I know you're going to be healed. I know you're going to be delivered. I know you're going to be set free. But his thinking is how he gets you there. I can't get no witness here. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. So we don't have a problem with God's thoughts 
because his thoughts tell me that I'm coming out. Hallelujah. But sometimes we may have an issue with his thinking. I know you're going to get me there, God, but I just may not like how you get me there. I can't. Uh, it may not be comfortable uh, getting me to where I know you're going to get me. Uh, bless the name. And I've come to find out in my life that sometimes you have to learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Oh, I ain't no witness in here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because sometimes the process of deliverance can be frustrating. I don't know, it, it seems like an oxymoron, you being frustrated, being delivered. It almost seems paradoxical. How can you be frustrated while you're being delivered? Seems like you should be happy while you're being delivered. But sometimes the process of how God brings us out can cause us, amen, to become frustrated. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Blessing, I ain't had nobody in here, amen, that while God is bringing you out, amen, you've been frustrated, amen. Bless. 40 years, God, frustrated, amen. I got to go through this furnace, frustrated. Huh. You mean I have to go through this lion's den? frustrating amen bless the name of the living god but i've come to find out my brothers and my sisters that a lot of time in the process because in processes amen bless the name of the living god we're always expecting increase and god will give us increase amen in the process amen bless the name of the living god but what i've come to find out that sometimes in the process before god gives us increase he will give us expansion we don't get frustrated with the increase because the increase means we get more. But sometimes we can get frustrated with the expansion. Ah, bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Let's see. Come here, Thaddeus. Amen. I'm, I'm an illustrative preacher. Is that all right? Come here, Thaddeus. Amen. Come here. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Stand, stand right there, brother Thaddeus. Stand right there. Now, it would be ridiculous for me to stack three of those chairs and tell brother Thaddeus, Pack those chairs across the church. He hasn't matured to the point. Somebody going to catch it. He hasn't matured to the point to where he can pack those chairs. So instead of God giving him increase, God will give him expansion so that he could fulfill the assignment first. So therefore, God will hold him. <laughs> He'll keep him right there and expand him. Year one, he'll look like that. Come here, Devante. Come here, move quickly, man. Year two, he'll look like that. He haven't moved, but he's expanded. Come here, brother Justin. Year three. He'll look like that. Come here, stand behind Devante. Now in year three, he will have expanded to the point and matured to the point to where he can take what God has him to fulfill his assignment. It's not increase, but it is expansion. Look at somebody and say, be still, he's expanding you. Come on, tell him, be still, he's expanding you. Now, when we look at scripture, amen, bless the name of the living God in the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 28, God is the only person, bless the name of the living God, that can cause you to be still and to move at the same time. What does the scripture say in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58? He says, be ye steadfast, amen, steadfast means to be firmly grounded. And then he tells us to be what? Steadfast and what? Unmovable. Now, after he has told us to be steadfast, after he has told us not to move, what does he tell us next? Always what? How in the world can I be steadfast, unmovable, and abound? Abounding means, hallelujah, to make progress with great measure. 
I can't get no witness in here. Abounding is not just simply taking baby steps. But he tells us to abound, we take. But how in the world can I and be unmovable and steadfast at the same time? God, you're telling me to be still and abound. God is the only person that can make you be still and cause you to abound at the same time. Because increase is not always about moving from one place to another place. I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. Increase is not always about what comes, amen, into your hands. Sometimes increase is what comes into your spirit. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Increase is what comes into your mental faculty. What are you saying? Listen, last year, can I, can, is it all right if I be me? Is that okay? Amen. Increase sometimes, amen, bless the name of the living God, is last year when you came across me like that, I probably would have gave you some choice words. I probably wouldn't have been as nice to you last year. I probably would have said some things that may not have been as safe as you think I am. So about to shout hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Deliver us from cussing saints. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. But sometimes abounding is the maturing what God is making me. Hallelujah. God is developing me and cultivating me to move. Hallelujah. In an anointing that he's called me to be even from birth. Bless the name of the living God. Look at someone and say he's abounding you. Hallelujah. Don't get frustrated. And you see everybody else going by. You see everybody else. Amen. Being blessed. Amen. You see everybody else going up. You see everybody else making CDs. You see everybody else getting their businesses started. You see everybody else driving a car off the showroom flow. Don't get frustrated. God is just abounding you. Amen. God is making you. God is maturing you. He is experiencing expanding you for the increase that's getting ready to come in your life look at three people and say hold on increase is coming bless the name of the living God because I've come to find out many people I've come to find out people of the Lord is that a lot of times we won't platform without process Hallelujah. Bless them. We want the platform, but we don't want the process. And anytime you get the platform without the process, there will be a lack of integrity and character. Bless the name of the living God. Uh, that's why we have people that have positions now, but no power. They have titles and no oil. I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. They'll sacrifice for an offering, but they won't sacrifice in prayer. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bless the name of the living God. God deliver me, amen, from the services where we can take up an hour and a half calling everybody's name with offerings and titles and positions. Bless the name of the living God. But will nobody grab hold of the horns on the altar and tarry and pray through no more. Bless the name of the living God. Somebody shout hallelujah the name of the living God the devil is alive God take us back to the place hallelujah until we are processed amen for the anointing the Bible says my brothers and sisters you read in the Bible and the Bible says that David when he came back amen to Ziklag he had just won a war he had just won a battle he had just been fighting he came back with victory and uh, for those of you all that Bible scholars you know that when they come back from winning a victorious war uh, the women would meet them at the gates of the city and they would be singing and praising uh, and giving glory to God for the victory uh, but the Bible says that when David came back to Ziklag he didn't hear any singing uh, he didn't see hallelujah anyone shouting uh, he didn't see anyone dancing uh, but when he came back to Ziklag what he found was smoke 
the city was on fire and uh, everything that he had was gone. He found smoke. What are you saying, brother preacher? Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I'm sick and tired of people, bless the name of the living God, who are bragging about the victories that they have outside of the city. Bless the name of the living God. But their lives are filled with smoke. God I ain't got no witness in here bless the name of the living God hallelujah you can be a public wonder and a private blunder at the same time bless the name of the living God I know you looking good bless the name of the living God bless the name of God I know we have our church clothes on bless the name of the living God we're shouting hallelujah but we have smoky areas in our lives we're dancing but we have smoky areas in our lives hallelujah we're singing but we have smoky areas in our lives hallelujah on the praise team hallelujah hallelujah but we have flames and smoky areas in our lives God take me through the process the Bible says that God had to take David through a process everybody had wanted, given up on him they wanted to stone him they wanted to kill him but the Bible says and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, sometimes it's frustrating. But you have to learn how to encourage yourself. You have to learn how to tell yourself, I'm going to make it out of this. I'm going to come out of this. As a matter of fact, I wish I had about 30 folks in here right now. Bless the name of the living God. As loud as you can. Just to open your mouth and say, I'm going to make it. Bless the Oh, Thank you, Jesus. As a matter of fact, tell everybody on your road, hallelujah, you're going to make it. Bless the name. Tell everybody in your section, I know you're going through some things, but tell them you're going to make it. I don't have to know what you're going through. I don't have to know what you're dealing with. I don't have to know what you're frustrated with. Hallelujah. All I got to know is that you're going to make it. As a matter of fact, release that same word that David released and say, surely. You're going to recover all. We're going to recover all. You're going to recover all. You're going to recover all. Come on, tell somebody. Touch them and tell them. Shake them, elbow them. Lean on them. Tell them you're going to recover all. Somebody shout, process. Bless the name of the living God. Please have your seats. Hallelujah. I got about 10 more preaching minutes. Bless the name of the living God. When we were growing up, you, you, they, don't, they don't even sing this song no more. When we were growing up, they used to sing a song. They would say, take me through. Dear Lord. And that was the whole song. Hallelujah. That's it. What no other words heard. Dear Lord, take me through. Dear Lord, take me through. Saints don't even say that anymore. Because don't nobody want to go through the process no more. Bless the name of the living God. But it is the process. Hallelujah. And listen, my brothers and my sisters, I've come to find out, and we're quickly going to go through this text, but I've come to find out in my life, I've went through a few processes. And I've come to find out in my life, sometimes the miracle is not God, amen, when God brings you out. Sometimes the process is the miracle. The process is the miracle. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. A lot of times we like to give God praise and give God thanks. Hallelujah. When we come out, but I come to find out that many times in life, the process is the miracle. Because in life, sometimes it's the process that takes things off of me that should not be upon me come out from among them and be ye separate said the Lord of hosts and I will receive you unto me sometime it is the process I didn't know how mean I was until I went through a process I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of living God. Hallelujah. There are some saints that testified they're delivered from drinking. But they really don't know they delivered, amen, from black label, amen, until they go through the process. I can't get no, amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
Bless that it is the process that reveals to you who you are. <laughs> Bless the name of the living God. God deliver us from these drinking saints too. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know that's what y'all say. A little wine is good for the stomach, say. Two things. Some of y'all ain't drinking wine, and some of y'all ain't drinking a little. <laughs> Bless the name of the living God. So my brothers and sisters, when we look at the text on tonight, bless the name of the living God, we're talking about this man. It's a very familiar text. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the text comes to us. Amen. Uh, Jesus is on a journey. Bless the name of the Lord. Verse 22, and it says, and he cometh to a place that is called Bethsaida, Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him, amen, to touch him. Now, when we look at verse 42, the first thing we want to know, bless the name of the living God, hallelujah, we, the Bible says, and they bring a blind man unto him. Look at your neighbor and say, and they. Now, this is the thing I like about and they. It is an anonymous they. We don't have any names. Uh, you, you know, we, we don't know, you know, if, 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 you know uh, if it was Jack. We don't know if it was John. Hallelujah. We don't know if it was Bob. We don't know if it was Billy. But the Bible just says it was an anonymous thing they my brothers and my sisters sometimes amen when we're going through processes god will send us an anonymous they who are the anonymous they the anonymous they are those hallelujah that will come into your life for a season to get you to where god wants you to go hallelujah but they don't require the credit or the glory for it they were anonymous. We don't know who they were. All we know, bless the name of the living God, is that they brought this man to Jesus. God, deliver me from church folks. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. That the only reason they do what they do is because they want to be seen. The only reason they say what they say is because they want to be seen. Bless the name of the living God. The only reason they come or the only reason they participate is because they want to, to be seen seen. Bless the name of the living God. They don't want to make a difference. They want to make a name. Bless the name of the living God. Deliver me from people that want God's glory. Deliver me from people that want the credit. Hallelujah for what God is doing in the lives of other people. They were anonymous. They didn't need it. All I want to do is do the work and the will of God. And I want God to get the glory for what is going to happen in the lives of those around me. Is there anybody in here that want God to get the glory? Anybody in here want God to get the honor? Bless the name of the living God. If you in here and you don't mind God getting the glory and you don't mind God getting the honor, I dare you to take 15 seconds and clap your hands and open your mouth and tell God all the glory belongs to you. All the honor belongs to you. Bless the They don't have to call my name. My name don't have to be on the roll. My name don't have to be called out. I don't have to be on the circuit. I just want God to give the glory. Come on and open your mouth and give him the glory right now. That's the name of the living God. Somebody shout hallelujah. That's the name of God. Listen, the, the, the other day, other week or so, a group of us, we went to uh, Indiana, Chicago, we went there and we were on the plane, bless the name of the living God, and we were sitting there patiently on the plane. Uh, you know, the, 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 the planes are so fantastic. 
you know, they fly up to, you know, 700 miles an hour. They can carry tons, amen, uh, 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 of things, amen, across the nation. Uh, you know, you can get from one designation where it would take us two and a half, three hours to get to Dallas, amen. You can get there in uh, 30, 45 minutes, amen. They are a marvel, amen, of technology, amen. And these planes can do all of these wonderful things, bless the name. But while we were sitting there, bless the name of the living God, I realized that there was something that a plane cannot do. A plane cannot move in reverse. Hallelujah. So while we were sitting there, amen, bless the name of the living God, uh, there is a little truck. It's called a tug truck. And the tug truck comes and hooks up to the front of the plane. Bless the name of the living God. And as the tug truck hooks up in front of the plane, it pushes the plane back so that the plane can get in position to take off to reach its designation. Somebody gonna catch it. Somebody gonna catch it. Amen. The tug. Amen. I don't know who drove the tug. I don't know if it was a man. I don't know if it was a woman. I don't know if it was one. I don't know if it was two people. Bless the name of the living God. All I know is that somebody got in that tug truck and pushed the plane in position so that the plane could take off and go to where it needs to be. What are you saying, brother preacher? Somewhere in your life, somebody has been a tug truck. You didn't know who they were. Grandma was a tug truck. She was praying when you didn't even know she was praying. I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Missionaries, hallelujah, were tug trucks. I can't even re remember all the folks, amen, that prayed over me in terror service. Come on, tell him yes, Lord. Clap your hands and tell him yes, Lord. I can't even name all the mothers, hallelujah. Bless the name of the living God that gathered around me. Bless the name of the living God smelling like soft peppermints and Bengay. Bless the name of the living God. Telling me to tell God thank you. Telling me to tell him yes Lord. Hallelujah. Telling me to tell him fill me again. But every missionary, every mother, every pastor, every preacher that I cannot name in life they were a tug truck to get me in position to where God wanted me to be so that I can take off and be the all that God has called me to be. You ought to clap your hands right now for your tug truck. Whoever your tug truck was, whoever it was that prayed for you, whoever it was that brought you out, whoever it was that delivered you, you ought to shout, thank you, Jesus. That's the name of the living God, tug trucks. Bless the name of the living God. They, anonymous, hallelujah, anonymous people. They didn't need the glory. They just wanted to do the will of God. The Bible says, and they come into Bethsaida. Now, there's one thing, bless the name of the living God, hallelujah, about Bethsaida. If you go to the book of Matthew, the 11th chapter and the 20th verse, the Bible says that Bethsaida was a place that had been judged by God because of of their unrepentant heart hallelujah Jesus said that if I would have been in Tyre or Sion that these people would have repented hallelujah based on the works that I have done in this city but he said Bethsaida and Teresa he said you have been judged and cursed because you are unrepentant somebody shout hallelujah not only was Bethsaida a place of unrepentance a place that had been cursed and a place that had been judged when you look a man at that word Bethsaida and you evaluate that word from the Greek into the English it literally means to establish a relationship or to become attached to something that is not covenant purpose 
bless the name of the living God it literally takes on the connotation of a woman who is married to a man and takes the responsibility of a concubine's children bless the name of the living God she comes into covenant amen or takes responsibility for things or attachment to, to things that is not within the covenant of, of her and her husband. Shabbat shout hallelujah. What are you saying, brother preacher? I'm saying in the scripture, uh, bless the name of the living God. Uh, not only was this man blind, uh, bless the name of the living God, uh, but this man was in a cursed place. Uh, he was in a place, hallelujah, where he had taken on some attachments. Uh, bless the name of the living God. Uh, he had taken on some responsibilities uh, of some things uh, that were not in covenant. Uh, look at your neighbor and say neighbor in this season you don't have time to hook up with things that are not part of your covenant bless the name of the living God in this season you don't have time to hook up with people that are not in covenant agreement with God somebody shout hallelujah I know they may be your friend, my brother, hallelujah. I know they may be your friend, my sister, and my brother. I know her hair may be flowing. She may have a Coke bottle shape. Bless the name of the living God. Her lips may be luscious. And yes, maybe you fell into her dimples. But if she is not hooked up to covenant promise, if she's not hooked up into covenant agreement, bless the name of the living God. Don't become unequally yoked. God, I can't get a witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. And I've come to find out, my brothers and sisters, that some of us are hooked up with people that remind us of where we come from. We're hooked up with people. Hallelujah. Now listen, listen. Hallelujah. We were in Indiana the other week. Hallelujah. And prophetess Calloway said, I can deal with you when you're struggling. I can can deal with you when you're fighting it. I, I can deal with you when you're wrestling I, with that thing that God delivered you from. I, with that thing that God that brought you out of. I, hallelujah. I, but we have people that ain't struggling. I, we have some people that have submitted to the sin. I, they submitted to the struggle. I, somebody shout hallelujah bless the name of the living God now listen my brothers and sisters let me make this plain there's not many of us there that are struggling hallelujah with drinking and smoking hallelujah many of us that are struggling hallelujah may not be struggling with fornication may not be struggling with adultery bless the name of the living God hallelujah but there's some people that have submitted to rebellion there's some people that have submitted to gossip there's some people that have Submitted to hallelujah backbiting. I, I can't get no witness. Hallelujah. You have to be careful who you hook up with uh, because I've come to find out uh, that one car ride home uh, with the wrong person uh, and ain't nobody saved at the church uh, but you and them. Uh, be careful who you hook up with. Sister, you can ride home with me. No, the devil is alive. I'm trying to hold on to my victory. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. You can ride. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the living God. Do you support the pastor's program? I can't ride home with you. Are you a faithful tithe pair? I can't ride. Oh, I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. I just want to call you and talk to you. No, my sister and my brother. Do you attend prayer meeting? Bless the name of the living God. Are you fasting and reading your word? I can't get a witness in here. Be careful who you hook up with in this season. Some people got a bet Saida anointing on them. They have blessed the name of the living God. Some people are just anointed to raise hell. Hallelujah. They're anointed to be truce breakers. Hallelujah. They're anointed to cause division in the church. They're anointed to sow discord in the church. The devil is alive. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. So look at what the Bible says. Come on, let's go to the Bible. Look at what the Bible says. Amen. We're still in verse 22. Amen. Bless the name of the living God. The Bible says, bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says, look, and he besought him to touch him. Verse 23 says, and he took the man by the hand and led him out. Led him out, amen, of the town. Bless the name of the living God because the town was cursed and the town was judged. So he led him out, took him by the hand and led him out of the town. Now my brothers and my sisters, bless the name of the living God. I've come to find out, hallelujah, bless the name of God, that many people want to be blessed by God, but they don't want to be led by God. They want his miracles, but they don't want to obey. Bless the name of the living God. They want the hand of God, but they don't want to seek the face of God. Bless the name of the living God. He let him out of this cursed place. He let him out of this judged place. Bless the name of the living God. Brother Caleb, I feel the anointing of God. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. It was not by coincidence that we sat together. Come on, I know we in COVID, bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah, but y'all brush shoulders, amen, with everybody. Hallelujah, go on vacations to the grocery store, Walmart, all these other stuff. You pick up fruit that everybody didn't have their hands all over. Bless the name of the living God. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, my assignment on tonight is to pull you out. To, to pull you out of your backside, to pull you out of anything that keeps you from what God has called you to be, to pull you out of everything that hinders you. Now pull on them and tell them, come on. Come on, that was the wrong neighbor. Find another neighbor and tell them, my assignment is to pull you out. Now grab them and pull them out. Good God Almighty. You're going to find the right neighbor sooner or later. Find a neighbor behind you. Grab them by the hand. And say my assignment is to pull you out. Now pull them out. Tell them come out. Come out. Tell them come out. Tell them come out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So as I come to a close, there are three things that I observe in this text. And I preached this message before. But God revealed something to me in this message. He showed me in this text that it was three times that Jesus touched this man. It was a process to his deliverance. Somebody shout hallelujah. In verse 23, it said he took him by the hand, led him out of the town, spit on his eyes, hallelujah, and put his hands. The first touch, was a touch to establish trust. Shout hallelujah. Because he was a blind man. He didn't want everybody leading him. He didn't want everybody guiding him. So the first touch to this blind man was to establish trust. It was to let the man know you, 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 you. Let him know you can touch me. Let him know you can lead me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you can trust the Lord. Shout yeah. Even when you can't see where the Lord is taking you, you can still trust the Lord. Shout yes. So the Bible says 
in the Old Testament that the children of Israel, they were in the wilderness. Good God Almighty. And the Bible says that the children of Israel, they got hungry one day. And God, somebody shout God. God, rain down manna. And I did some study. What is manna? And when you look at the revelation from the Hebrew to the English, manna means what is this? We didn't know if it was meat. We didn't know if it was bread. We didn't know if it was commodities. Shout hallelujah. But one thing I know is that God is making a way. I may not know what it is, but I know God is working it out. Look at your neighbor and say, you can trust God in your wilderness. You can have a manic experience. I don't know how he's going to bring me out. I don't know how he's going to deliver me. But I know he will. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God, he will. He'll bring you out. He will. He'll deliver you. Clap your hands and give him praise. So the first touch was to establish a trust and a faith in God. Took him by the hand, led him out, pulled him out of it. Now the second touch, when we read the scripture in verse 23, put his hands on him and say, how do you see? In verse 24, he said, I see men, but I see them as trees, and they're walking around. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the second touch was to establish desire. Shout yeah, because a lot of times in the process, we can get halfway there and say, this is good enough for me. I can settle right here. We're talking about a man that was blind and could not see nothing. He could have said, as long as I can see anything, that's fine with me. But the second touch established a desire. He said, this ain't good enough. I see men, but I don't see him as men. Who am I talking to in here tonight? You know God wants to bless you. You're halfway there. You know God got a miracle. You're halfway there. You know God got a blessing. You're halfway there. But are you like this man? Will you stay there and go through the process? Will you stay there until he blesses you? Will you stay there until he heals you? Will you stay there until he brings you out? Look at three people and say, stay there. Don't move. Stay there. There's a blessing for you. Stay there. There's a healing for you. Stay there. There has to be a desire. Has to be a desperation. Good God Almighty. God, I want you. God, I desire you. I can't leave now. I got to stay right here until you bless me. I'm going to stay right here until shallow come. I'm going to stay right here until my healing come. Because God, I want your glory. God, I want your miracle. God, I want your blessing. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 
Look at your neighbor and say, Lay. Tell him he got more. God, I feel my anointing. He got more. God. He got more. He got more. I'm going to stay here and tell it to it. I'm going to stay here and tell it play me out. God, I'm going to stay here. Look at your neighbor and say he will. He will. He will. God, he will. Shout it out. Shout it out. High five your neighbor and tell him stay here. The third touch, the first touch was a touch of trust. The second touch was a touch for desire. But the third touch was a touch of deliverance. Shout it out. Somebody shout deliverance. Come on, open your mouth and shout deliverance. The Bible says that the man stood right there. Jesus touched him again. And the Bible says his eyes were restored. I'm going to my seat. Look at your neighbor. And say, neighbor, this last touch is going to restore everything you lost. This last touch is going to restore your joy. This last touch is going to restore your peace. Lift your hands and say, Lord, touch me again. Lift your hands and cry out Lord do it again everybody lift your hands and say do it again God I need you do it again I'm dependent on you do it again I'm trusting in you. Follow me again. Lift your hands and say, Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Touch me again. Shout glory. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, everybody's, everybody's standing. May I submit to you on tonight that these touches were not to heal his eyes. They had nothing to do with his eyes. But may I submit to you on tonight that these touches were to deliver him from Bethsaida. Bethsaida represents judged places. And maybe, just maybe, this man was blind and in a judge place and couldn't even see where he was. So maybe the touches were not to deliver his eyes, but to deliver his soul. And as a process of his soul being delivered, he received his sight. 
I can't get no witness in here. Because we got a lot of folks shouting and blind. Got a lot of folks preaching but blind. I can't get no witness in here. Bless the name of the living God. We got a lot of folks prophesying and dancing but blind. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. But God wants us to repent. Get our souls together. Touch establishes relationship. We've moved in religion too long. But God wants relationship. He calls us sons and daughters. He wants relationship. I don't know about nobody else, but when I stand before God, I don't want him to look at me and say, depart. I never knew you. Worked in the church, shouting and dancing, preaching, pastoring, playing, all this other kind of stuff, playing music, ministry. I don't want to stand before him and tell him, depart. I never knew you. Your work, he did not deny the work that they worked. He just said it didn't mean anything in the kingdom. Work of iniquity. But I want to stand before God. And I want to hear him say, well done. Good and faithful servant. Listen, my brothers and my sisters. If so happen, Jesus comes back before I die. Bless the name of the living God. The Bible says that Gabriel's going to blow the trumpet one foot on land and one foot on water. The Bible says, them that have died, hallelujah, shall rise up first. And those of us that are left where she's been caught up, amen, to meet him in the mid hour. I don't know about nobody else, but if I'm here, I want to be caught up. And I want to meet him in the middle of the hour. But you got to have a relationship with the Lord. Goes through a process. On tonight, my brothers and sisters, if you are here on tonight, if it's all right, superintendent on tonight if you're here on tonight and you say God I thank you for what you've done but I just need another touch God I just want you to touch me again oh God touch me until I feel it in my soul scripture says out of your belly God, I need you to touch me until something happens in my belly. I need you to touch me until something happens on the inside of me. God, I need you to revive me. The Bible says he was restored. If there's anybody here that need a touch and you want to be restored, I want you to come to this altar right now. Say, I need a touch and I need to be restored. If you're here on tonight and say, God, touch me one more time. Listen. Bless the name of the living God. And I need to be restored, Lord Jesus. In my mind, in my heart, in my spirit, I need to be restored. Bless the name of the living God. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I don't want you to think about it. Hallelujah. I want you to make your way to the altar right now in this instance. Hallelujah. God, I know there's another anointing that you have for me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, daughter. That's it. Hallelujah. Anybody else coming? I need to be restored. Bless the name. That's it, my brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the living God. I like them shoes. Bless the name of the Lord. Anybody else say, I need to be restored, God. It's me, it's me, oh Lord. Come on, when we were coming up, we say, it's me, oh Lord. And I'm standing in the need of prayer. Hallelujah. Come on, bless the. I don't want to leave the same way I came. Hallelujah. But God, I need a restoring in my soul. I need a stirring in my belly. Bless the name of the living God. Come on, Whoever, wherever you are, come, 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 come. Bless the name of the living God. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Bless the, is that it? Listen, we're getting ready to close it. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, prayer team. Let's pray for those. Hallelujah. That are on the altar. Hallelujah. Everybody else begin to clap your hands and begin to give God glory. 
Come on, clap your hands and begin to give God praise. As the Lord is restoring, as God is renewing, in the name of Jesus, I tell you see on day. Yes, Lord. Come on, we believe in God for an outpour. An outpour of the Spirit. God, restore me again. God, renew me again. In the name of Jesus, I need another touch from you. Touch me again, God. Stir up my pure mind. In the name of Jesus. Come on, everybody, clap them hands. Give God the glory. Clap them hands. Give God the praise. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Ghost. 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 Have your way, Have your way in this place. In the name of Jesus. Fall on us again. In the name of Jesus. Renew us again. In the name of Jesus. Heal us in our heart. Heal us in our mind. Heal us in our spirit. Heal us again. Restore us again. Renew us again. Come on, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, church. Yes, Lord. Open your mouth and cry out. Yes, to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell him yes. There's another yes inside of you. There's another yes in your belly. Open your mouth. Cry it out. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes to your way. Cry it out. 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 Tell it fall upon you. Cry it out. Tell the power come. Cry it out. Tell the anointing come. Cry it out. Yay. Yes, Lord. 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 We're going to wait on you. Tell your blessings. We're going to wait on you. Tell your deliverance. We're going to wait on you. 
until you bring us out in the name of Jesus. Cry it out, yeah! Oh! 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 on the count of three come on as loud as you can one two three Hallelujah. Listen, I'm getting ready to go to my seat, Superintendent. Something I like to use so often, District Missionary. First Lady, when my wife was having her second baby, having us, labor and delivery was two hours. Went by so quick. I was out of town with Bishop C.L. Bryant. And I had to drive in. I went to the house. My dad met me outside and said, they're at the hospital. I went to the hospital. I went to the nurse's station, superintendent. I said, my name is Adrian Brown. My wife is Latanya Brown. And she's in, in labor. She's having a baby right now. And I need to know what room. By the time I said, what room? I heard lady. She said, oh! I said, never mind. I know where she's at. Bless the name of the living God. I went to the room. Bless the name of the living God. The nurse came and said, Miss Brown, we're gonna, when we come back, we're going to give you the epidural. She was gone about 15 minutes. She came back and she checked lady and she said, oh my God, the head is crowning. We can't give you an epidural. You're gonna have to do everything natural. My wife said, oh my God, I'm going to die. I can't make it. Bless the name of the living God. This process is too hard. I want to talk to those in here tonight. That the head of your next miracle is crowning. 
the head of your deliverance. Your next deliverance is crowning right now. They told us, say, Miss Brown, with everything in you, I need you to push. You're going to push, and we're going to pull. And together, we're going to get this baby delivered. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I wasn't pushing, and I wasn't pulling, but I was a coach. I was right there. I was breathing. Bless the name of the living God. Hallelujah. On tonight, before I take my seat, I need you to team up with a coach. I need you to team up with somebody that's going to help you push and somebody that's going to help you pull in the spirit. Bless her, because we're going to get this thing delivered tonight. The Bible says, when Zion travailed, then she brought forth. Look at somebody and say, you're about to deliver this. You're about to bring forth your next miracle in the name of Jesus. Come on, find somebody that you trust and team up with them in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell them, I'm going to push and you're going to pull. Hallelujah. But we're going to cry out together and we're going to get this thing delivered on tonight. On the count of three. I want you to grab them when they push you pull when you pull they push and you open your mouth and you cry out together until deliverance come come on get ready get ready get ready god is gonna give us a deliverance on tonight are you ready come on we're gonna push we're gonna pull and we're gonna crack come on get ready one two three push pull crack Tell him, come on! Get your deliverance! Get your deliverance! Yes! 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 Come on, get it! 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 Get your deliverance! Get it! Get your blessing! Get it! Get your joy! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Come on, get it! Get it! Push and pull! Push and pull! Push and pull! Get it now! That's it, get it! Get it! Yeah! 
listen, listen. I, there's one more praise in you. Anybody got one more praise? It's important. Ta -ta -ta Anybody got one more praise in them? Listen. This praise is going to release a blessing on you in the next seven days. It's going to release a praise, a blessing on you in the next seven days. This praise is what God is giving. He's going to restore some things. And re this is a praise of what God is going to release. It's a process. Sometimes God don't do everything immediately. Sometimes it's a process. And I need somebody to put a praise on it right now for what God is going to do in the next seven days. I need some radical praises. I need some praise. I need some people that say, I will dance on top of your bunion. I'll shout on top of your little toe. Bless the name of the living God. That's the kind of people I need. On the count of three, I need everybody to join me with a praise. This is a praise of release. Bless the name of the living God. What God is going to release on your life. I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready. Are you ready? God's going to release some things. And look at your neighbor and say, I need a little room. I need a little room. Because I may get wild. Bless the name of the living God. And praise it. Now on the count of three, I need you to praise God with everything on you. Getting ready for it. Hallelujah. Come on, musicians. And we're going to praise God like we didn't plumb lost our minds. On the count of here we go. One, two, three. Praise it. tonight hallelujah thank you Jesus find three people and tell them the process is working for my good come on tell them it's working for your good the process is working for your good it's working for your good Clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, tell him it's working for your good. Come on, lift him hands. It's working for your good. The things that you're going through, the things that you're dealing with. It's working for your good. I know it may not always feel good, but it's working for your good. This is going to bring restoration to me restoration to my house restoration in my mind my relationships restorations thank you Lord Jesus things will work out for the good of them who love the Lord Anybody know that? Oh, no matter what the problem, 
You can't solve them. They will come. God, I forgot these words. Oh, oh, oh. things will work out for the good of them who learn. Things will work out for the good of them who love. Somebody help me. Things. No, 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 no. For the good of them who things will, things will work out. Come on, praise him. Help me out. For the good of them who things will work out. Help me out. Help me out. Things will, no, 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 things will, things will work out, everything will, everything will work out, things will, things will work out, hang on in there, hold on in there, don't give up, things will work out. will work out things will work out things will work out things will work out everything will work out things will work out things will work out lift your hands and say things will work out every situation Things will work out. For the good of them who love the Lord. Who love Come on, where my tennis is at? Who loves the Lord? 